Good morning, students. Today we're going to be looking at how to write an effective paragraph using the RACES strategy. You can use the RACES strategy to help you stay structured and make sure that you give enough evidence to support what you're saying. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the parts of a RACES paragraph. The RACES paragraph strategy has five key parts. In the first section, you want to make sure that you restate part of the question in your response. This happens in the first sentence. Also in the first sentence, you provide your answer. Then you cite evidence in order to support your ideas. Then you connect your evidence and the answer together by explaining. And last, you summarize. Summarizing your ideas is the conclusion. Go ahead and look at today's prompt. Describe the most difficult part of Salva's journey in A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. The most important part of that prompt is the verb, describe. We want to describe the most difficult part of Salva's journey. When I look at that prompt, the most important phrase to me is where it includes the verb to describe. Describe the most challenging part of Salva's journey. And so I think that that is the portion that we really need to focus on. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that section so that I stay focused while I'm writing my response. The first section of a racist paragraph deals with the R and the A in that acronym. So the R stands for restating part of the question and the A stands for answering the question. We want to do both of those tasks in the very first sentence of our response. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start by restating. The most difficult part of Salva's journey in a long walk to water is um, when he is escaping uh, the refugee camp in Ethiopia with the other lost boys. All right. You know what? Instead of is escaping, I think I'm going to change this verb. I'm going to say when he is forced out. When he is forced out of the refugee camp in Ethiopia with the other lost boys. It's really important that we support our idea with evidence, and evidence comes directly from the text. In this case, it's going to come from the novel we've been reading, A Long Walk to Water. Specifically, we're going to use the part in the book which deals with the scene that we just said was the most difficult part of Salva's journey, which was the section on page 78. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, and start citing some evidence here. I'll say, according to the text, Salva had to swim across the Gila with crocodiles, risk drowning, and avoid bullets fired by Ethiopian soldiers. And now I'm going to give a direct quote. The text says, the rain was pouring down and now bullets were pouring down as well. I think that adequately supports what I'm trying to say. Adding evidence is great, and it's definitely a characteristic of academic writing. But sometimes the quotes that we choose as evidence may not be immediately clear how they are supportive of whatever our answer was. So we really need to clarify how our answer and the evidence that we gave connect. All right, to connect the evidence with my answer, I'm going to say this quote shows the great risks, or actually the great danger, that Salva faced as he uh, fled Ethiopia and how much his life was in jeopardy. Offering a summary of your ideas is really important as well because it reminds the reader what it is that you've been talking about this whole time and it helps you ensure that you really stayed on track. I'm going to start my summary by saying, in conclusion, the most challenging aspect of Salva's journey was when he was chased out of Itang refugee camp. Let's go ahead and read what we have written so far, just to make sure that it all sounds cohesive. 
The most difficult part of Salva's journey and a long walk to water is when he is forced out of the refugee camp in Ethiopia with the other lost boys. According to the text, Salva had to swim across the Gila with crocodiles, risk drowning, and avoid bullets fired by Ethiopian soldiers. The text says the rain was pouring down and now bullets were pouring down as well. This quote shows the great dangers that Salva faced as he fled Ethiopia and how much his life was in jeopardy. In conclusion, the most challenging aspect of Salva's journey was when he was chased out of Itang refugee camp. Well, it takes a lot of steps in a video tutorial to write a racist paragraph, but let me assure you that the more racist paragraphs that you write, the easier they will become to construct. You will get much faster at moving through this process on your own, and remember that the most important part is that you are citing evidence from the text, whether it's a novel or an informational article, to prove what you're saying. It's all about the evidence. When you're writing a racist paragraph in class, there are many helpful resources around you. First, you could look at the racist paragraph wall. Next, you could look at the text talker sentence frames located in the middle of your table. And last, the sample paragraphs. All right, well, thanks for watching this video tutorial, and I hope that you are feeling more comfortable about the racist paragraph. See you in class.